Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Fake Card Friday. So yes, yes, we are looking at me. <laughs> so uh, someone actually decided to go ahead and make a Evil Mastery card. I'm very flattered. This picture of me is not very flattering though, because when you try to fit it into the box of the picture, you kind of squatted me down. You make me look kind of fat. This picture is hella old. This is like this is like graduated from high school old. So this is a couple years old. But uh, yes, it is a picture of me, and the card is Evil Mastery. It's a spell card, and uh, um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and review it. So uh, thank you for having me in mind. I mean, you know, uh, you know, if anybody's gonna get a fake card, why not be me, right? I mean, I'm the guy who looked at the fake card. So uh, let's go ahead and analyze and see if this Evil Mastery card is really worth the title Evil Mastery. All right. So uh, first effect. You can send up to three spellcaster or fiend type monsters from your deck to the graveyard. Okay. So for those of you who do not know Vitamin Y, specifically Super Vice about, because this is specifically what it is talking about, because I know so many guys are like, oh, you, okay, well, of course, foolishing, you know, uh, three spellcasters and fiends, I mean, come on, you know, uh, you know, spell books can even do that, but... Specifically, this is specifically for Super Rice Yubel, in which Doom Shaman is, of course, a spellcaster, and Yubel is a fiend, along with Tinker, who is who I use as my synchro. So, pretty much, you're supposed to go activate Evil Mastery, send Doom Shaman, send Tinker, send Yubel. That, that's the gist of it. That's why that is there. I'm going to try to explain uh, all the effects in detail and why they put that specific effect. But just note, this card is specifically, specifically for Super Rice Yubel, which, of course, is my main Yubel deck. Um, you know, it's the one I play in real life. Well, played. I'm still working on it. I'm like 99.9999% done. And of course, uh, it's kind of funny because this goes up as Fake Card Friday. If you wait like an hour and you're still on the channel, of course, Lime and Y will go up, which of course, Friday being Super Vicey Bell Day. So, you know, come over and Super Vicey Bell and check that out as well. Shameless plugs. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the with the fact. So, up to five times per turn you can special summon one normal monster from your graveyard and you get up to five normal summons all right that is extremely broke extremely broke. so you probably wonder like I, I, for those of you who do not know my super spicy you're probably like I, I don't get it what's so special about summoning a normal monster from the graveyard i mean what's up doom shaman is a gemini so therefore uh, he will be a normal monster in the graveyard so essentially this card is saying i can go summon doom shaman get one of my additional normal summons out of my five and my five additional summons from the graveyard and just keep summoning Tinker and Tinker Ray. So I can go, okay, you will match three. Doom Shaman, use one of my normal summons. Summon Tinker, sink, Beals. Doom Shaman, use one of my nor one of my other normal summons, sink, Beals. Doom Shaman, summon Tinker again. Another Beals. Doom Shaman, summon Tinker, uh, well, at that point, my fill would be pretty close to fill. Uh, I can I can get what what one more singer summon so singer summoned into scrap dragon doom shaman again so that that point because of this card I would have three bills a scrap dragon and a doom shaman and that's just one of the many many combinations that I can do but uh, you know definitely that just kind of just breaks the whole play I mean I get it they were like oh you can summon five times return you get normal summon you can have five singers on the I don't have enough room. I don't have enough zones for that. <laughs> so, uh, I probably wouldn't use up all, I wouldn't be able to use up all five unless something happened to my plays. But, uh, that's, uh, definitely considerate of, uh, Super Vice C Bell. That's, you know, that's probably one of the key plays. Definitely the key play in Super Vice C Bell is not only the synergy that Doom Shaman has with U Bell, but also what synergy Doom Shaman North has with all Fiend types, including Tinker, who is my level two Fiend Dark, who, uh, when he sent to a graveyard, I uh, look at the top card of my deck, put at the top of the bottom, the effect is mandatory. So, it doesn't miss timing, just go ahead, look, top or bottom, and, uh, yeah. Uh, also, a cute play you can do, because Doom Shaman says you can summon a fiend from either player's graveyards. If you happen to be going up against Dark Worlds, you can always use Doom Shaman to uh, snatch up uh, one of their graphas, so. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and continue this effect. So, uh, you can only special summon fiend-type monsters and Doom Shaman after this card's activation. And now you messed up. You had it, and then you just messed it up with that effect. If I can only special summon fiend type monsters and Doom Shaman after this card effect, then how do I synchro summon? Most of my synchro summons are dragons. Yeah. Bills, Scrap, Crimson Blood is a Warrior, Dark End, Stardust, 
Yeah, most of my synchro summons are dragons and well, not fiend and not doom shaman. So pretty much, I can't even do my synchro summon plays if I would play this. That it really sucks. I think that was a mistake. I think you wanted to try to limit the limit it or something, but yeah, you just messed up. You pretty much just took away the synchro possibility. Unless I, of course, synchro summon for a fiend type monster, but uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. So uh, that pretty much made this entire card null and void. Damn, that sucks. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish looking at. It. Your opponent cannot respond to the activation and effect of this card. Okay. So, it's a spell card, so that's really hard to stop anyway, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, trap cards except for Limit Reverse cannot be activated. Okay, so you guys know how much I hate back row, so they pretty much decided like, hey, he hates back row so much, so just allow him to just go off. So, you know, you know, you want to go ahead and you know activate that bombless on Doom Shaman? No. Or, or et cetera, et cetera? Nope. Nope. Because you can't, only, only, the only charm card that we can activate is Limit Reverse, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, the funny thing is that in Supervisor Bell, I actually took out Limit Reverse, so, yeah. Huh. Oh well, it's a, it's a thought that counts. You can activate the effect of Yule Mastery once per turn. Alright, so it's only once per turn, it's not even once per duel, it's once per turn, so, uh, of course I can run triple of this and keep doing play what's it say if that if that sentence right there that you could only special summon fiend type monsters and doom shaman at this card's activation was taken out then this card would just be super broke for supervised but because of that hindrance there's not much i can do with it i can't even think of a level eight synchro fiend i mean maybe thought roar i think maybe he might be a fiend or psychic no he's a psychic isn't he i can't even think of a level eight fiend right now so i don't know i don't know and uh, the best part of this card, this card can only be activated if you are Evil Mastery. So if you're not me, and I know you're not me because I'm me, and you can't be me because only I am me, then you can't play this card. So only I can play this card. But overall, not bad. Like I said, this that one sentence screwed it up. Everything else was just stupid broke for me, of course, but still fine. So anyway, I'm very flattered. Thank you for creating this fake card. Um, you know, I'm glad that you guys love and support me so much that you want to go ahead and take the time to go ahead and do this. So I definitely have to review it for you guys. So, uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think about uh, Evil Mastery, the card. I mean, I mean, if you want, if you want, if you want to go ahead and take the time to tell me what you think about me, then go ahead. But the card, like I said, let's just pretend that sentence isn't there. Let's just pretend that sentence isn't there, and tell me how broke this card would be if that sentence wasn't there about only starting summoning fiend type monsters or demon shaman. And Dean trying to act this card's activation. Take that sentence out. Broke. Broke and he broke, bro. I, I can I can OTK with ease. You can't act you can't activate anything in response. You can't activate any trap cards. I can pretty much go for four synchro summons. Uh, what? I can go into what? A Beals and three scrap dragons. Beals destroy I mean the scrap dragons target the Beals and your monsters, blow them all up, you still can't activate any trap cards, go 28, 3,000, 28, 28 game. Like off of this one card like ridiculous like I don't need silent doom I don't need single memories I don't need supervise I have this I have myself so uh, and of course I'm broken I need to be banned so <laughs> yeah well I probably wouldn't be banned because nah I mean I'm broke I'm super broke but who would play it besides me and no one can play it besides me so that's the question if this card really existed and I was the only one who could play it would Konami ban it? I, th I think they would ban it just because it wouldn't be fair. Because I would clearly be OTKing the hell out of people with this card. And since I'm the only one that could play it, no one else can. So I think Konami would. <coughs> excuse me. I think Konami would ban it because I would be beating their meta decks and and the stuff they're making products they're making money off of through means that only I would be able to use. Maybe they would just ban me from playing you. Maybe they would just be like, you know what? No. Of course, they would never make a card this specifically for me, but I'm just saying. All of a sudden, this card came into existence in the in the real game of Yu-Gi-Oh. So, I'm just it's just hypothetical, just hypothetical. But uh, yeah. So tell me what you guys think about this card. So once again, still flattered. Thank you for creating this card. Picture is still not flattering. I look so, I look chubby. I really do. I look, I look, I'm, I'm more elongated than that. But sure. <laughs> You know, uh, the outfit, the outfit's still pretty similar to what I had. My hair's still the same. I don't have that hat anymore. The hat got so dirty and wrecked. I still have the bow tie. I still have the vest. I still have the shirt. 
Uh, you see that black arm armlet on my right arm in the picture? I don't have that anymore. That also got destroyed. Like I said, it's been like it's been like over two years since that picture was taken of me. So yeah, yeah. If you want to see a more up to date picture of me, uh, go on my Facebook. You want to show Facebook that that profile picture? That one? That's like like maybe like a couple months ago. So more up to date. But what what am I doing? Like, oh, if you want to see pictures of me, mm. <laughs> oh, uh, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Art Right. So once again, thank you for creating this card. Thank you for taking the time to do that. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I'll see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. Thanks for watching.